All right, so I wanted to do a quick video on this, uh, this meter I found on Amazon the other day for $26. I just wanted to kind of see how it would stack up against the Fluke 179. Um, whenever I first saw this thing, I was like, there's no way that all of these features work, okay? So this thing is packed with features. It actually has more features than the Fluke 179. And again, $26. So whenever I first got it and opened it up, I was kind of surprised at the size, okay? So if you compare this to the 179, this is significantly smaller. Um, but, you know, what use is it if it doesn't work, right? So I figured I'd go through a few tests and um, show you guys um, whether it works or doesn't work. Um, it comes with meter leads. It actually comes with a little K couple um, for the... Uh, um, temperature um, function comes with a little screwdriver to change the batteries. That's one thing that I wish it did have was uh, the toolless um, battery change, but you know that's not a big deal. But this thing does volts AC, volts DC, millivolts, hertz, diode test, um, resistance, um, temperature, microamps, milliamps, and so forth. Um, Oh, even non-contact voltage. So that's one of the things that this uh, 179 does not have is the non-contact voltage feature. Um, has a backlit display. Um, one thing that I will say about the backlit display is it really doesn't it really doesn't stay illuminated very long. Um, but you know, for a $26 meter, you know how much more could you ask for? Um, so you know, if this thing checks out pretty good, then I'll probably just throw it in my laptop bag um, with my um, service laptop um, so that if I leave it on a roof or it falls in a puddle of water, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, I think this thing actually has like an 18-month warranty on it too. So, I mean, you know, even if you went through one of these once a year um, at $26 a piece, I mean, that's that's really not bad, you know. So, maybe you're just a, a new guy in the trade. Maybe you don't know if you were ready to drop $500 on a meter or maybe you just like buying and trying out cheap tools like me. Um, so yeah, check this out on Amazon. Um, if we, you know, actually can prove that it works. I mean, like I said, this is a ton of features for, for such a cheap meter. Got the little stand. So we'll stand it up and stand up under its own power. The first thing that we'll test out is the, um, the volt DC, um, functionality. So whenever you first turn it into volts, uh, mode, it's immediately going to be in a uh, DC function. I'm gonna light up the back backlit display so you guys can see how long it stayed illuminated. It's not very long. Um, so anyways, let's turn on the signal generator and let's change it to voltage. So we should be reading 10 volts DC. So 10.03. All right, so let's check that against the fluke just so we can kind of have a, a point of reference if, uh, for accuracy. I mean, fluke's a pretty respect, respected brand, right? 10.00. Okay, so this meter read three hundredths higher than the fluke. Um, for me, not really the end of the world. Okay, uh, what should we try next? Let's go for the volt AC test. Let's see what this measures. 124.5. Let's see what the fluke says. 124.5, okay, not too shabby. I wish I had a, uh, a printed circuit board with some diodes on it so we could test those, but if you're like doing VRF work, VRV work, mini split work, um, you know, or even just, you know, inverter driven anything, um, they're gonna have some form of a um, inverter board and it's gonna have diodes all over it. So having a meter that's capable of reading diodes is extremely um, important if you're doing that type of work. And a lot of times you have to spend the, quite a bit of money to get a uh, meter that has that functionality. Um, so let's see what else we've got. We've got resistance and capacitance. So checking capacitors and things like that. Um, temperature, microamps. So you could check your um, you know, flame sensors and things like that. But one of the things that I was most um, surprised about this meter having is the milliamp um, function. So let's plug in the signal generator and we'll switch it over 
So we should be reading 12 milliamps right now. So let's see what we, what we measure. 11.9 milliamps. Let's see how it tracks. So now we're up to 12.6. 12.49, so you could say 12.5. Um, so it seems to track about um, a tenth behind what the signal generator is outputting. Um, again, for me, not the end of the world. Um, I don't need the most accurate instrument in the world to do HVAC work. Um, so let's see what else we have. We've got non-contact voltage. Let's see how well that works. That's a feature that the Fluke 179 does not have. Let's just see if it works. Yep, lights up red and beeps at you. So it's telling me that that's hot. So that works. And we've also got a built-in flashlight. How handy is that? So for me, I think I'm gonna throw this um, in, my, in my service laptop bag and we're gonna put this thing to the test and, and see how it does. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say that I regret buying a Flute 179 by any means, um, cause we have no idea the longevity of this thing. It's super cheap, super lightweight. If I leave it on a roof or it falls in a puddle, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it'll definitely be fun to um, test it out and, and see how well it works. So maybe you should try one out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.